Aloha and welcome to the Joy of Crafting show brought to you by Ben Franklin Crafts. And this month, we're getting ready for your fall fashion and Gloria is here to show us how to do, what do you call it? Kumihimo. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know a lot of people are starting to pick this, this beautiful art up, right? Yes. Um, you've seen it in the bead magazine. So it's, mm -hmm. it's something that's coming up. I think it's an old art, I think, in Japan. But... Um, and more and more people are being introduced to it and falling in love with it, exactly. which I know you have. Yes, I did. I've been doing it for about two years now. Yeah, yes. so. And this right here is actually the traditional marudai, uh -huh. which is what they use in kumihimo. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's got this hole on the top, and um, the braid comes through here. You need the weights and everything. There's counterweights, and you have your... But That's this right. is not what we're going to do today. This is for, like, the serious person. Well, <laughs> like it's, for the, it's for the students, okay? Uh -huh. But we have something in our stores that people can, can do the kumihimo correct, with, Correct, right? correct. And it's a kumihimo disc, okay? Oh. So it does come in with some instructions, some basic instructions, and mm -hmm. that's what I'm going to show you today, one of the really basic braids that we've learned. So it's do actually, you have a, a finished one? I oh. have the start of one. I have several different ones, mm -hmm. in fact, okay? The one we're going to do actually today it's just a basic braid. So you see the spiral that's mm -hmm. on there? If it's you really do pretty. this, uh -huh, you can actually do it with beads. Okay. Oh, wow. So it becomes a piece of jewelry. Okay, and we're going to use rat tail today. Oh, perfect. So we, we have, have lots that. of rat tail in the stores. So mm -hmm. one of the nice ones is, of course, the one with a little bit of glitter. Uh -huh. So if you mix this with um, embroidery floss uh -huh. or even just regular rat tail, then you you're going to really get a really nice look. Yep. Wow, okay. okay. This is going to be an eight bobbin piece. So usually your cords are about two times the length of what you wanted to okay, make. Okay, I was going to ask you how long do you have to make yeah, it? About okay. two times. Okay. Um, I go two and a half because I always like that extra Just <laughs> exactly that to be safe. Cushion. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so what it is is you usually have your for um, for this one. Like I said, it's an eight bobbin or eight cord. Eight cords. And uh -huh. basically, what you do is you put them all together. And you would kind of like put them in half. I'm sorry, one way. So actually, you're just taking four cords. You have, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You're taking well, four cords. Four cords and then um, splitting it in half. And doubling it to equal the eight. There you go. Right. <laughs> We're always doing math. See how important <laughs> it is to learn math. Okay. Basic math. <laughs> Basic math. So we have them in half. And then uh -huh. for here, I just kind of tie it together. Just kind of lock it together so it makes it a little easier to work with. Okay. So is there like a, a certain amount of tail that you need to leave? No. No? Because you're not really going to use this part. Okay. Uh, when you make your bracelet, you're actually going to tie it off. This is just to kind of hold everything okay. together. Okay. So you have it all tied up. We have all mm -hmm. four cords. And you have your... Um, your disc. Disc. And there's numbers on your disc, okay? So normally, I leave the 32 in front of me. Mm -hmm. And what I do is insert, you insert this in. Top, bot, down. Top, down. Okay. And you have your four different, your two different colors. So it's going to go basically opposite of each other. So we'll put the black on here. So if you have your, um, those little dots, Help. And you can kind of see. Where so you this are. really helps because yes. you get used to, to where right. placement should be. Now, I guess. Mm -hmm. Now remember the uh, the Madu die had the counterweight, yeah, mm -hmm. that I had. So for this one, since we don't have weight on it, what it is, what holds it together is the tension that you have it here. So you kind of really oh. need to make sure that that's snug in there. I see. Okay, and what we're going to do is known as Congo gumi, which is the eight. Excuse me, what did you Congo Kong, Gumi. Congo Gumi, okay. Right. Okay. It's um, hard braid, I think is what okay. it's called. Okay. So I have all of this here. I have my two colors this way and two this way. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is bring this one down, opposite, just down. Just straight down. Uh -huh. okay. And then this one comes up. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to turn mine. And I'm going to do the same thing. This is going down to the right next to my init initial mm -hmm. cord, and then this one's going to go up. Okay. So you and don't we'll have turn you're again. not crossing it or anything. We're not you're crossing. Just going right this straight. is this is a beginner's braid, basically, is what it is. And you just for this one, all you're going to do is just keep repeating it. Now you can try to take the shortcut and just go back and forth, but 
lot of people need to remember where it goes. So I would do this. Now you see how this loosened up? That yeah. means my braid's gonna be loose. So I need to make sure that it is snug. Okay. Okay. Okay, this was actually over there. And it's just a repetition. That's all you're gonna do. So you just repeat it. So you just have to remember you gotta keep going counterclockwise or clockwise, whichever way. Yeah. Does I it matter? It really doesn't matter too much as long as you're being consistent. Okay, once you okay. start one way, you once keep you going start that one way. way okay. yeah. um, that's why um, someone mentioned the left-handed people and that type of stuff. So uh -huh. actually you're building your braid down here. Now I haven't gone that's too good. far. So it's yeah. going to slowly grow. So basically I'm going to show you another one that's kind of okay. gone mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, so it would just repeat. Now this one I did with beads oh. using the same technique. Okay, so it's basically the same thing, but if so you look. So you have to add your beads on first. Yes. Kind of yeah. like how when you crochet those lays, you gotta put, you gotta put <laughs> you the beads on. You remember those, yeah. yeah. You have to put the beads on first. Okay. okay. Now I actually, actually used bobbins on this one because I had the beads on here. Mm -hmm. So it's the same technique. Now if you have beads on it, it makes a slight difference. Okay, so we started here. It's basically, I'm sorry. Bring, I, I use rat tail and embroidery floss. Uh -huh, so yeah, different okay. look. Uh -huh. Okay. So it's again down. Right. Same. Now because I have a bead on this one mm -hmm. and I want to show my bead, I'm going to push the bead up. Now my bead has to go underneath the cord. Underneath so the cord? Underneath that cord. Oh, so you and have to keep an eye on where the bead is. Yes, so it's the same technique again, same thing. Oh. Put the bead under. Okay. Yeah, so if you go on top, it's not going to... So the cord is going in the same place. It's the it's same. It's just that you've got to make sure that you feed your bead. Correct. Oh, okay. So again, oh. same thing. I'm going back and forth. Yep. Oh. And then I have the beads here. So even a beginner could do this one with the bead. Yes. So you can try it. <laughs> yeah. And what happens is it's got the same spiral of that one with the, with the initial can one that I showed you. Can we see how it comes out? This comes wow. out like this. So you see the spiral? Mm -hmm. And if you remember the first one. It has a spiral, but because it has the a spiral. bead. <gasps> Correct. That so it's is the fantastic. same, basically the same look. That's okay. really neat. I want to see some of your other okay. things. This is the same technique. Now this is a necklace that was done mm -hmm. with beads. Okay. So okay. again, it's a little bit smaller, ver it's a nicer version of this, which is kind of good. There's all kinds of Let, cords. Let's see. Really? Okay. Let's see. Here's another bracelet, oh, and this flat. is more of a flat one. And this is all done with a disc. This is all, I no, mean, I didn't with, do it. Yeah, I know, most, but it's still doing. It's the same, it's, you can do all of this with the it's disc. It's the braiding technique. Yeah. So are you showing how to do this also at, at the Pro City store? Yes, actually yeah. we're teaching classes on this one so people can sign up for that. Yeah, I know, I'm really excited about yeah. Thank having Thank you for this. having my favorite yes. thing. <laughs> Always trying to <laughs> be on the lookout for things that I know people can share their ideas. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Well, we're going to take a short break and we'll be right back.